If you are a web developer or designer, you know the drill. Checking meta tags in one place, validating schema in another, running core web vitals, and hunting down image optimization issues. It's tedious, it breaks your flow, and honestly, it wastes time you could spend somewhere else. That's why I completely overhauled the SEO toolkit in Hoverify. Let me show you. Alright, so there are two ways to get started with the SEO tool. First, the simple way. Just click over the Hoverify icon to open the pop-up and beside the SEO tool you will see this toggle. But if you are like me and want quick access without any extra clicks, you can go over to the shortcuts and under tools you will find this toggle at SEO. Currently it's not set so I will click over this icon and find toggle SEO and set whatever shortcut combination I want. Now I will go back to the original tab and enable the SEO panel. Alright, let's start with the insights tab. This is your command center for understanding how your site actually performs. Right at the top, you get four scores, performance, accessibility, best practices and SEO. These come straight from the Google's PageSpeed API. So you are seeing the same data Google uses to evaluate your site. In this example, we have got 75 for performance, perfect 100 for accessibility, 77 for best practices and 92 for SEO. Below these scores, you have got the core web vitals, LCP, CLS, and INP, FCP, etc, etc. The best part is that you get both real user data and lab test. Real users data comes from the Chrome's UX report and lab test come from the PageSpeed API. So you can basically compare that what you, real users are facing and what the lab test is showing you. That gap tells you story about the real world conditions your users face. Scroll down and you hit diagnostics and opportunities. This is where it gets actionable. You filter by performance, accessibility, best practices and SEO. And each one of these sections are expandable. Red circles are critical problems like forced reflows, um, high JavaScript execution runtime. Yellow triangles are warnings with estimated savings. Like here, reducing unused JavaScript could save almost uh, 500 KBs. Click any of this to dig into the details and figure out exactly what needs fixing. Now here's what makes this really useful. See this desktop and mobile icons? You can toggle between them and see how your score differs across devices and they will differ notice how switching from mobile to desktop the performance drop to 72 and the lcp jumps from 0.6 seconds to 2.6 seconds that's kind of insight that tells you exactly where to focus your optimization efforts next up is the meta tab this is where you see exactly how your page presents itself to search engines and social media. At the top right, there is copy meta tags button. Super handy if you need to quickly grab all the meta information for documentation or to compare with another page. Let's break down what you are seeing here. First, the essential car set, title, description, HTML link, and so on. You will also see these limits. These are not arbitrary numbers. They are the recommended limits for optimal display in search result. Go over and Google truncates your carefully crafted copy. Now scroll down. This is where it gets interesting for social sharing. You have got open graph tags. So OG title, OG description, OG image, and crucially a preview of your OG image. This is what shows up when you share your link on Facebook or LinkedIn. Similarly for Twitter, so you have got Twitter card, Twitter title, Twitter description and Twitter image. You will also see some red warnings. You should specially pay attention to this because this can hurt your page getting indexed or getting shared. So this view shows you everything you need to audit your meta tags. Now let's talk about something a lot of developers overlook, heading structure. Right away you get a bird's eye view account of every heading level on the page, h1 through h6 laid out. 
here we have got 1 h1 13 h2 103 h3s and so on this instant snapshot tells you a lot you want exactly one h1 per page and your hierarchy should flow logically from there you can hit copy structure button to copy structure in markdown if you need to document this or share it with your team below that you see the actual heading hierarchy visualized as a nested outline your h1 sits at the top h2s are intended beneath and h3s under those and so on this is exactly how search engines read your content structure and now you can see it the same way they do but here's where the real value comes in with these warnings these are the kinds of issues that slip through when you are looking at the page visually everything might look fine but under the hood your heading structure is a mess now you can catch it instantly for example on hoverify's site i have skipped the heading level i went from h3 to h5 it's something i would have never noticed proper heading hierarchy isn't just about seo it's about accessibility too screen readers use these headings to navigate so getting this right matters okay now let's move on to images tab this one's a gold mine for both seo and performance optimizations right at the top you can see the summary of all the images so you can see all total images images without alt tags and decorative images you can filter the view with these buttons all images without alt text and decorative images now let's look at what you get for each image you've got a thumbnail url of the image you see the image size and dimensions you see the dimensions of the image that it's been displayed on and the alt text. Let's move on to the without alt tab. Images that don't have alt text are bad for accessibility. Screen readers depend on it and search engines use it to understand your images. Missing alt text is an SEO gap you want to close. Now let's see what these actions on the right do. So the first one brings the image into the view. The second one is to copy the URL of the image. And the third one open the image in the new tab. This tab alone can shave seconds of your load time if you can fix those oversized images. The links tab gives you a complete inventory of every link on the page. Up top you have got the breakdown. Internal links, external links, no follow links and broken links. Below that, you have filters to slice through data. But here is the real time saver. Check status. Hit that and Hoverify will actually ping each link and verify it's live or dead. Hoverify already filters links that can create issues like links that can log you out or delete a resource. But as an extra measure, you should always check extracted links before checking their status. Okay, so we have found some broken links on Adobe's site. One is actually returning 404. Each link also has some actions. First, to bring the link into the view. Second, to copy the URL. And third, to open the link in the new tab. This is huge for content audits. You can quickly see if your anchor text is descriptive, if you are linking to the right pages, and if any links have gone stale. One scan and you have got a complete picture of your link profile. Last but definitely not least, the schema tab. This is where structured data lives and it's one of the most powerful ways to stand out in search results. You have got two modes, detected and generate. Let's start with detected. The summary shows you what schema formats are on the page. JSON, microdata, RDFA. And you have some totals. This site has two JSON schemas, both valid. That green check mark next to each one tells you it's properly formatted. Click to expand any schema and you see the full JSON code. Here's an organization schema with company name URL, description and even a physical address. This is exactly what Google reads to understand who you are and display rich results. You can copy individual schemas or hit copy all schema to grab everything at once. But this gets more powerful. Switch to generate tab. If you don't have schema markup yet, you need to add a new type. Hoverify gives you a template for most common schemas. 
ऑर्गेनाइजेशन लोकल बिजनेस आर्टिकल प्रोडक्ट एफ ए क्यू पेज एक्सेट्रा नो मोर गूगलिंग स्कीमा सिंटेक्स और बंडरिंग इफ यू गॉट द फॉर्मेट राइट पिक अ टेम्पलेट कस्टमाइज इट एंड यू हैव गॉट द वैलिड स्ट्रक्चर डेटा इन सेकेंड्स सो दैट्स द न्यू एस यू टूल किट इन होवेरीफाई नो मोर जगलिंग डिफरेंट टूल्स इट्स ऑल यर राइट ऑन द पेज यू आर वर्किंग ऑन इफ यू आर नॉट ऑलरेडी यूजिंग होवेरीफाई ग्रैब इट फ्रॉम ट्राई होवेरीफाई डॉट कॉम एंड इफ यू आर मेक श्योर यू हैव अपडेटेड टू गेट दिस न्यू एस यू फीचर्स Drop a comment below if there's a feature you would like to see next and if this saved you some time hit that like button it really helps a lot thanks for watching i will see you in the next one